Hello and welcome students create and manage groups also restore groups with the CLI in your practice labs projects and here in this video we're going to talk about how you can create different groups multiple groups and if any of the group get deleted so how you can restore those groups by using the CLI so here's your manual and it contain all the steps with the respective screenshots and the notes and don't forget to read the notes and these notifications because this contain a very important detail that you might miss during the performance or replicating of the steps that are mentioned in this document so be sure to read every note and every message that we put for you guys so in case if you stuck anywhere so these notes will help you so there are all the steps and all the screenshots that those gonna really help you throughout the whole project so without further ado let's move to the practice lab platform so here we are connected with the PLAB Win 101 machine and here we're going to launch the Microsoft Edge browser to access the Office 65 portal lab guide so once you type your credential it will take a while to log you in to the admin portal of office 65 and here we're going to skip and proceed to the portal and the steps are really simple but the interesting part comes when you start to use the PowerShell and start restoring your office 65 groups so here let's hold your mouse to the app launcher and let's open the admin portal and why because all the management and group creation you know the user creation all could be done and managed from the admin portal and again we're going to skip this for the 14 days until this is required and once it shows the dashboard then we'll start and directly creating the group and show you how you can create groups and how you can restore the groups by using the CLI so it redirected you to the home page of the admin center so let's move to the mouse to the navigation menu and here under the teams and groups you're going to click to the active team and group so there you will have the status of all the active groups and the teams so right now we have this single one all company and we're going to add another group so let's click to add a group and right now we're going to go with the recommended office 365 then click next and here we need to provide the name of the group so I'm going to name it as GSS test one group and I'm going to type here the test group the description of this group then click next and here it's it gonna ask you for the owner so you can have multiple owners at the same time so I'm gonna assign the admin of this domain as the owner of this group so there you go the admin is now the owner of this group and you can add multiple owners so let's say you are creating a department wise groups in your organization in your corporate environment and you have managers and assistant managers out there so you can add them the owner of the group as well so it's up to the application and the requirement of the environment then it's about it's time to add the members so you can click to the add members and then if you have multiple members and user at this at the same time in your office 65 domain so you will have the list of all the users and all the members here so right now we have this one the test user so I'm gonna select this one and make the, that test user the member of this group then click next and here's the group email so this is the interesting part because this group's email behaves like a distro the distribution list of the whole group 
the email address of the whole group so it can behave as a broadcast email for the group members so if anybody like let's say you have different department like the IT the networks the sales and marketing and you want to send email to the whole department at once so you should use what the distro the group email so it, it works like the same here in the office 65 environment so if you want to send email and you want to send if you want to send the broadcast message to the specific people or to the to a specific group so you can use this group email so it behaves as, as a distribution list of all the users of all the members having the email so here I'm going to type JSS T1 and group so this is what this is the group email address and I'm going to go with the public the privacy of this group as a public then click next and you should review before finishing this visit so once you review that and if you are sure that you're not going to make any changes to these settings so then click to create group and in a while you will start seeing the new group where you're in your teams and active group section and then we'll explore once it's created then we're going to explore how we can restore the group by using CLI so there you go new group is created and it's time to click close and here you can see the JSS T1 group is now available to use and it has single member so what happens that let's say if you click and delete the group somehow and you want to restore the group so now we're going to come to this part of this video where we're going to show you how you can restore those groups that you deleted somehow in your office 65 domain so how the CLI the PowerShell helps you out to restore the group with the, with the help of few commands so let's move to the PLAB 101 desktop and here we're going to launch the Windows PowerShell and which one the admin privilege base PowerShell because that can help us to run any command that might affect the system file or do does some system changes and that's why we recommend you to perform all those labs on the practice lab server do not download the office if you have products in your personal machine always use the server because if any changes has been made to the system so it won't affect to your personal machines so here the first command and first two command that should be run before moving directly to those command that helps you to restore the group are these command that I'm going to show you later but the important thing that you should know that if you miss those two commands and if you if you jump to the step 90 let me show you in the document here I also mentioned that the step 18 contains what that run these can run, run this command to enable the office 65 from the local machine and if you want to verify after running this command you should run this install module Azure AD preview so be sure to run these two commands mentioned in step 18 these two commands the install module MS online and install module Azure AD preview if you miss that so don't move to the step 19 or otherwise if you move so PowerShell will not get connected with your office 65 domain and you will start seeing different errors on the PowerShell and that will definitely mess you out and you will stuck and you will not understand what goes going on so you should not miss these two commands before moving to step 19 which is already mentioned into the document in the manual so I already repeated here as well so I'm sure you will not miss that part now let's move to the PLAB 101 machine and here's the thing because most of the time you will find the PowerShell script and the commands are too lengthy and those contain a lot of it's, it's keywords and different syntax so what is good that you can copy the command from the manual and directly paste the command here so it will save your time and it will become less 
button to complete all the labs that are having the CLI stuff. So let's open the word file and let's copy this command. So let's say if I select this text, the install module MS online, and from here I click right click and copy that command and move to the PLI 101. And here's we have this menu thing which I already introduced you in the first or second video of the project about the practice lab introduction i already show you that stuff so if you missed that and want to explore other feature of the practice lab environment you can go back to that video and watch to use different feature of the practice labs so right now i'm going to click to the clipboard and here i'm going to paste the same command and click to send and then i'm going to right click here and hold your mouse on edit and click to the paste and sometimes it won't show you the paste option and you will find that it is grayed out but you can simply press ctrl v or right click on the powershell and the command will be pasted and there you go after copying that you can paste here and then press enter so it will take a while and then ask you some confirmation you should go with the yes and install and upgrade your powershell version that should be required during the installation or restoring or connecting with the office if you have domain so when your first command executed completely then we're going to verify that this command is work working and all the required features are installed so let's again click to send and press ctrl v or the right click and if it won't work so go to the edit and click to the paste okay so let's try again and ctrl v so there you go the command is copied into the practice lab environment and again it requires some confirmation so i type a so it will be yes to all so you will not get any other confirmation message it will automatically proceed now the thing you need to know that what these two command does this command install this ms online feature to this local machine now you can connect the PowerShell of this local machine to the Office 65 domain. And now we're going to run the command that we provided in the step 19, which is what connect Azure AD. So as the command suggests and indicates that this command will connect your PowerShell to your Azure AD. So let's click to send and then control V and press enter. So what's going to happen that it will require your trial account credentials. So I'm going to type those one. So after providing the correct username and password, you will be connected with the Office 65 domain. And the PowerShell is now ready to do changes to your Office 65 domain. And you're, you don't need to go to the portal and use the GUI portal interface of the dashboard you can now do all the sort of management and you know the installation and create user creation and deletion all you can achieve through the powershell because the powershell is now connected with your office 365 portal now here we need to recover the deleted group so first we need we, we need what the object id of that group that has been deleted so we're going to copy that object id and then we have another script that we will run and paste the object id of that specific group that we want to recover so let's move to the document here and copy that command from here and the command is what get dash azure adms deleted group so this command will help us to get the ID of that group. 
now click to the menu and select the clipboard and paste that command here and then control V and here let's press enter so what will happen you will see just right after pressing the enter key that we have deleted two groups and it, it is showing both of the groups and their object ID so you can select any specific group from here so this one we just created JSST one group so I'm going to copy the object ID of that specific group and let's right click on the PowerShell and click to copy and let's right click here and open what the new text document and let me paste this object ID here and now we're going to use the last command that will finally restore this deleted group for us so let's copy the whole syntax and then we're going to perform the same step that we are performing again and again and then control V and here you can see the object ID part should be replaced with that specific group ID that we just copied so there we have let's copy it by pressing control C and here let's press control V and the ID is being pasted then press enter and here you can see that your group has been restored and if you want to verify with the GUI portal dashboard so let's move to the office 85 portal so there you go you have this GSS team one group available and it is just restored from the recycle bin you could say because you've deleted that group and we use a couple of PowerShell commands in a script to restore this specific group so in the same way we're going to have a lot of stuff that we can show in both ways the GUI the GUI way or the CLI way so we're going to cover that stuff in the coming videos thanks for watching